Welcome back folks to a brand new video. It has been almost 10 years this year since I have been back in Croatia. And let me tell you, I still have the best memories since then because there were less tourists and still so much fun. But anyhow, if you've never been to the country before, then sit back because this is the video for you. So here are 10 of the most amazing places to visit in Croatia. Now before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button, obviously for the YouTube algorithm. Number one, Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik is absolutely stunning. Its old town is truly amazing and an absolute must see. It's easy to spend a couple of days exploring, walking the city walls and visiting all the sites in and around it. Of course, because of its popularity, Dubrovnik does tend to get very crowded during the summer months, especially as it receives so many cruise ships. There's also plenty of opportunity for day trips to nearby islands. So I suggest you make that trip in 2021. Number two, the Plitvica Lakes. The Plitvica Lakes National Park is another amazing wonder within Croatia. With so many interconnecting waterfalls, visiting the park is a truly unique experience. It's also possible to stay right by the park itself. Now, as one of Croatia's top attractions, the park attracts a large number of visitors in the summer months yet again, but its size means those large numbers are quite bearable. However, the park is also open all year round. Now Plitzvica is a little bit off the beaten track and that's why we put this on the top 10 list. Number 3 Zagreb Some compare Zagreb to the ever popular Prague which is no surprise to me. But in the last 15 years Croatia has increased in popularity. Now this elegant Croatian capital often loses out to the coastal resorts, but it's the medieval alleyways and large parks of Zagreb are the reasons why you should take a detour inland. Check out its old medieval upper town, the neo-gothic cathedral and the historic buildings of the lower town. This is a lovely way to dive in to Zagreb's history. There are many historical tours that are organized daily in the Croatian capital. So for the full experience, be sure to join some of them. But speaking from experience, it's Zagreb's nightlife that should be the highlight of your trip. Number four, Hva. This town is actually considered to be one of the most beautiful places in Croatia, and I can easily test to that. Its Gothic palaces and squares are framed by the 13th century walls, which slope downwards towards the Adriatic Sea. The best views are from above, with a trip to the Spanish fortress. It's perched high on a hill overlooking the terracotta rooftops. This is one of my favourite places in Croatia, often called the island of lavender. You'll find here many beautiful lavender fields next to the more common olives, vineyards and pine forests. A short boat ride from here to the Peklinski Islands 
Now these are one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited on the Croatian coast. And I definitely recommend a day trip there during your visit to Bar. Number six, the island of Vis. The island of Vis is different to many of its neighbors. Due to its history, the island was completely closed to foreigners until 1989. The island of Vis arguably one of the most beautiful islands in the world, is located off Croatia's southern Adriatic coast. Unspoiled nature, breathtaking beaches, amazing underwater world, rich history and a delicious local cuisine could easily convince anyone that this really is paradise. There's also a handful of sites in both this town and the other larger settlement on the island Komisha. One of the most popular sites in the area is the beautiful Blue Cave on the uninhabited nearby island of Bishabo. Number 7. Split. Split is the second largest city in Croatia with just over 200,000 inhabitants and is the largest city on the Adriatic coast. Now Split, Croatia is one of the most magical cities in Europe. It is packed with rich Roman history, charming streets and beautiful buildings filled with character. It feels more lived in than Dubrovnik and has less of that checklist feeling that comes with being somewhere with lots of tourists. Rather than fighting crowds, you can relax in split and wander around the city at your own pace. For me, the highlights are the short day trips. For example, the fortress is one that I recommend. Number 8. Korchula Island The sixth largest island in Croatia. Korchula is 20 miles long and rather narrow. The main resorts are Korchula Town and some call it Little Dubrovnik because of its medieval squares, churches, palaces and houses. There's also smaller towns and villages dotted around on the island for those looking for a more secluded holiday. But definitely one you should visit. Number 9. Ravine. A Croatian fishing port on the west coast of the Istrian peninsula, Ravine, but also a charming picturesque town with narrow cobbled streets. Some people say it seems Italian in nature and you will see why it was part of the Venetian Empire for centuries, with reminders all around the town of Venice decorated on some of the buildings. For example, such as the famous cathedral that stands 61 meters high. There are spectacular views over the rooftops of Ravine and to the nearby islands from the top of the bell tower. But it's the ocean views and harbor are the reasons why Ravine is so famous.
Number 10, Pula. Pula is so close to Ravine, you can almost taste it. Only 45 minutes away by bus. So it makes sense to add this to your list of Croatian places to visit. Like Ravine, Pula was once a Roman controlled settlement and in fact served as the administrative center of Istria for a period. Pula is also located on the Adriatic coast but lacks the ocean views and harbor Ravine is famous for. However, people flock to Pula for something entirely different. Less tourism and of course it's well kept Roman ruins. The amphitheatre. 